So problem number one for bearing stress. So in figure 1-12, assume that a 20mm diameter rivet joins the plates that are each 110mm wide. So the allowable stresses are 120 megapascal in the plate material and 16 megapascal for the shearing of rivet. So determine the minimum thickness of each plate and the largest average tensile stress in the plates. So on sabi, given, meron daw tayong shear stress equivalent to 60 megapascal and bearing stress equivalent to 120 megapascal. So ang thickness is the unknown, di ba? Pero given naman yung diameter ng divot, which is 20 mm. So first thing, since given naman yung shearing stress for the rivets, so S is equivalent to P divided by A. So for shearing of, shearing stress, stress of the rivet. So S, so yun yung shear stress ng rivet which is 60 newton per mm squared equivalent to P. So ilan ba yung P natin? So yung P, force P is the unknown. So force P, P divided by A. So ano bang area yung nag-act doon? So yung area yung nag-act doon is yung uh, area of the rivet. So area of the rivet is simply pi divided by 4 times D squared. So, ilan ba yung force P na na-encounter ng rivets? So, ayan. So, 60 is equivalent to P divided by pi over 4 D squared. So, ang force P natin is 18849.556 newtons. So, newtons pa yan. Then, next, for the bearing plate, naman tayo, punta na tayo sa bearing plate para ma-determine natin yung thickness of the plate. So, given naman yung stress for the bearing plate. So, S equivalent to P divided by A. Where S is 120 Newton per mm squared. Newton per mm squared, pa take note, is megapascal lagi yan. Equivalent to P. So, ilan yung P natin? So, ang gagamitin natin P is nandito sa shearing. So, ito yung galing sa rivet. So, 18849 0.556 newtons divided by area. So, area, ano ba yung area natin? So, ang hinahanap is, di ba, thickness of the plate. So, T times the diameter of the pivot, 20. So, ilan yung ating thickness? 18849.556 divided by 20 times T. So, diameter is equivalent to 7.854 mm. So, ito na yung ating thickness for the plate. Then, next, 